Hello, welcome back. Uh, I've got a uh, delivery again today and as I said I was going to add a little bit of a just a short video on how I get this roller speaker back for the uh, New Zealand Phoenix radio that I did up last week. So the package came in the mail and I'm pretty confident this was um, what I wanted, the, the suspensions. Um, so if you recall this, I've got a car speaker in this radio if you watch the other ones, uh, just in the meantime until I got this stuff delivered. So, if this works, I'm going to uh, put this back in and uh, take the car speaker out. Now, that's assuming these are even going to fit. So, well, it doesn't look very good, does it? Uh, so I've got I've got the thickness of that. That's probably near three mil thick, and that's probably sitting up maybe a bit more than three mil. Okay. As you can see, I bought while I was getting them. I bought some uh, different size ones. 3, three inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch or something. So this is 6.5 I think. So it's not going to... these When they make these they don't go right to the edge like the old days. They just grip the corner or the edge of the ring. So I think what I need to do is remove this cardboard uh, spacer and uh, see if that... see if it's even going to work. Oh, I've taken that cardboard spacer off, whatever it is, and put that on there. I tell you what, it's not going to be that far out, is it? How can I get away with it? And uh, most of the holes are gone. Uh, there's one hole left. <laughs> uh, okay, what can go? What uh, this may work. So what I'll do, take this out, okay, so this is my plan at the moment, I'm going to, I will trim off all this excess here, so I'll take it off to that first rim, or ridge I should say, clean all this out, and I'll uh, glue the new um, suspension in. But to, because I'm going to lose the centering that this has on it, I'm going to lose the centering on the voice coil, I'll uh, put some paper in there, which is uh, the way you do it when you're making these things. Or you, don't, you can use paper, some people use film negative, or whatever will work. Depends how big the gap is. This one's got a very small gap, a very small gap. There we go. So that's um, holding that, that's centering that. Uh, okay, so now it's got to work out how to cut this scissors. Good as any. Okay. Alright, so there it is. Um, so it's held in place by the paper there. Um, I can lift and lower the, this cone now just because the paper's got a bit of friction on it. So I can actually move it up and down and then uh, when, I, when it's the right height I can glue it onto the new uh, uh, suspension foam thing here. And uh, I reckon we'll be okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue the foam on top. I'm not sure how it's supposed to go. Probably supposed to go underneath. But um, I think I'll put it on the top because it'll give me a neat circle and 
and uh, give me a bit more height that I have can't afford to lose. So, so before I do that, what I'm going to do is, um, while I've got it in that position, I can slip uh, some cardboard or something around inside here. I'm going to put it in the sandblaster and uh, clean it all up. I'll give it a spray paint, give it a coat of paint, and uh, uh, put some new stickers on it. It'll look like new. Then uh, um, I'll glue this uh, new cone on. So it's going to make a cone to fit under the uh, speaker between the uh, cone and the uh, the frame, or whatever they call it. And uh, I've made a paper one. That's worked all right. And I've got that in there. I'm just going to make one out of cardboard now. That'll just stop the media blaster from uh, damaging the cone. There's our circle. I'm just going to cut it. I think I'll cut it halfway because I won't, won't be able to bend it well enough. And we need a circle about. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, with a bit of luck, these will fit in here. Like that. Go the other way with that one, it doesn't seem to want to fit. I don't want to damage the wire down the bottom there. sit that on a board or something and then I'll just hit it with the um, sandblaster. So there we go, I sandblasted that, that's come up pretty good. So I'm just going to uh, put some tape around it and I can give it a coat of uh, some hammer paint, hammer finish paint, silver. So it'll look pretty much or very close to what it used to look like. So there it is, there's the uh, speaker it's got the similar hammer type uh, finish they had back in the day so, so it should look pretty good I'm just gonna let that dry for a while and uh, we'll uh, I'll have to take the tape off and paint the black paints dried I well it's it's half dry I've, it's dry enough to put some uh, tape around there I can mask it up uh, so he's under there somewhere uh, looks, looks like he's ready for a haircut shot back inside sir be more of a bowl cut I think So the paint's dried, um, I'm going to fit the cone, I'm going to glue it on. Uh, I'm just a little worried that there's a lot of material hanging over the edge there and that just might flutter, so I don't want it making uh, noises in the back. So I'm going to trim it off a bit tighter than what I have. I'm going to use a marker which is probably a bit, a bit uh, over the top, oh, it should be alright. I'll just put some marks. Come on, like that, and I'll just join the dots. And just leave enough there so that it can adhere to the, the uh, new suspension. Oops, that looks a bit wrong. I'll go up there. centered that's good all right so what I'm going to do is use a contact adhesive this time um, I didn't um, I was going to use another one but I, I need to be able to apply pressure and make sure it's in the right place so I couldn't find anything that I could just fit in there to hold it down everything was a bit the wrong size I was looking for little 
oh, plastic containers and all sorts. So this will do because I can I can push it down and uh, hold it there as we go. Also, I'll paint up around the top there, and that will stiffen that up a bit, so lessen the likelihood of it uh, buzzing. Uh, now, just paint down to where the roughly where the dots are. Doesn't really matter. I'll just coat the inside of the foam suspension. All right, I noticed the um, that adhesive is affecting the foam, so I hadn't considered that. It's uh, making it a bit soft, but anyway, that'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Yikes. I was trying to get it on here before it got too dry, but that's not happening. Uh, this might be a mess. Hang on. No, it's okay. So I need to centre the whole thing. And then, oh, you know we near it. Okay. Let's uh, go. Okay, so uh, that that's coming out okay. Uh, it was a bit scary. I think I, if I did it again, I probably would use a, an adhesive that you can move around a bit. It was um, I tried to get it on before it set, so I could still move it, but not possible. Okay, so all that's left now is to um, I'll let that dry a bit, and then I'll come back and uh, glue this on. And I might use a different adhesive uh, on that one because it's uh, that'll that'll hold the top of the cone in in the center uh, so I need to be reasonably accurate and uh, of course the bottom bottom part of the cone is held by the spider down the bottom so and uh, I'm going to either paint or do something to this cone it's quite tender so I'll do something just to stiffen it up it doesn't really matter if that's stiff it's not doesn't do anything apart well apart from move up and down of course but it doesn't doesn't need to be uh, particularly uh, uh, flexible or anything and uh, as long as it's not too heavy that you start affecting the way the the cone can move in and out inertia and all that um, then uh, should be okay uh, adhesive there is well and truly dry so I've just got some uh, it's called weld bond it's just a multi-purpose adhesive um, so I'm going to try and stick it under here just like that This will this will dry. This dries clear. It's pretty much like a PVA adhesive, but it doesn't mention PVA in it, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it works pretty good. It'll certainly glue this, all right. All right, so that's done. Uh, I guess this is. What? That's a bit wrong. So I'm hoping that's still centered. I've got to try and get this down without putting any side pressure on it. So I'll grab one of the wife's pots, which happens to be about the right size, and I'll just use that. There you go. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's in the right place. I can't. I don't know how else I'm supposed to do it. Hope the wife doesn't see a pot sitting on here in the video. Any trouble? All right. So I'll let that dry for a while. Been a couple of hours. I've left this sit here. So just have a look and see what happened. There we go. It's not. It's not bad. 
So the, I don't know what happened there, look, it's, it hasn't even glued. Alright, um, alright, that looks okay, I'll have to add a bit more glue in there. Don't know what's popping and happened in there. Mm -hmm. Now the important thing is that this doesn't scrape on the voice coil. Perfect. No, nothing, fantastic. That'll work fine. All right, good. Well, that part's done then. So, uh, so, so I'll just have to something. Maybe the pot pushed that over there. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'll uh, fix that, and uh, we're good to go. Uh, good morning. This has been uh, sitting overnight. The speaker. So I'm just going to try and put these little stickers on. So I'll just center that on there. There we go. That's stuck. That's going to stick on quite well. The um, roller was always. Well, these are designed to be on top of the speaker. So if it's set in a normal housing, the roller would be the normal way up. Uh, on this radio it, uh, it's going to be upside down so I've left it that way so I'll just do this other sticker this goes uh, on the top around here and it just says something about uh, rights and licenses or something for roller it's so small I can barely read it I'm not sure why they didn't make it bigger So there we have it, the um, stickers back on and uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, quite happy with that. I've painted the cone. Uh, I just used a spray can of gloss black. Uh, it does go very floppy, it soaks right into that cardboard. So I had the, um, the little uh, spacer in there or whatever you call it to keep that centered. Otherwise it will, it will the cone will move. Um, after I finished that, uh, it did have a bit of a scrape on it, I noticed, when you pushed on it. Which, so if this is a bit of plastic off what you get, um, I don't know, strawberries and uh, stuff like that from the supermarket. Those little plastic containers that they use. So I just cut a very thin strip off. And all I've done is, you can put it in there and just work it around. Now this, as I said, this voice coil clearance is minimal. It's not normally this will just slide in and you can whiz it around, but that's uh, cleaning off some of the gunk that's in there, and um, it's not touching anymore. So, so I think all I'm going to do is put this uh, little foam that's a filter filter on here. I think we're about done. So there's our speaker all done and uh, I haven't tested it yet I did test the continuity it's still there after I mucked around and shoved bits of cardboard in there um, so uh, that should look all right in the back of the radio should look good uh, I've got the uh, chassis for the Phoenix out of, out of the case so uh, and I've removed the uh, fake roller car speaker that I made I didn't make the speaker I made the make it look a bit fake and here's our, the original speaker that's been hopefully repaired. So uh, looks looks pretty good. Quite happy with that. So I've just got to mount it. Uh, this um, the suspension on the new one is really quite bulbous, and it's designed to go with subwoofers. It probably just you're supposed to fit it to anything you like. And of course, new speakers these days fit go into a hole like that uh, and screwed from the front. So this doesn't usually get in the way. I might have an issue with it with the string, but I think I can reposition the string if I do. So I'm just going to screw all that together and uh, we'll see how it all goes. I've mounted the uh, speaker down the bottom, the two bottom ones, and uh, uh, it's okay as far as the gap there between this bulb and the dial string. I thought that might have been an issue, but it's fine. 
Uh, now this timber front that goes on, that's going to be another issue I think. Just let me line the holes up. And yeah, okay, so yeah, the bulbs hitting the, the uh, timber front, so can't can't have that. I'll have to um, I'll have to open this up somehow. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Actually, what I might do, what I could do, yeah, what I could do is just um, route out the, the back here and uh, just give give some clearance to that without taking away from the strength. So I'll do that if I start cutting away from in there too much. It's not going to be anything left. So I'll I'll route that off at a 45 or something, and that'll give us the clearance around that. Uh, bit of foam there so all right let's do that I've set my router up I'm just going to just trim out in inside here and inside here and uh, that should give us the clearance we need for the speaker I've tacked a couple of bits of timber in there just to get at the same height as the the timber blocks that the manufacturers put on so uh, we're good to go <coughs> Okay, let's see how we went with that. So I'll put that about where there's the holes. Oh, there's plenty of room there. Yeah. So, so you should be able to see that. There's, there's plenty of room for that to move in and out. So we're, we're going all right there. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll put this on then. There we go, all done. See if it works. Sorry, I've turned that light off again. This guy got his start busking. This is Justin Bieber. Here's this little kid sitting on steps with a guitar. videos we want one of them you know sort of we want a bit of your melbourne credibility and then next thing you know they were flying us up to Mackay in north queensland and we we're meeting these sort of six bronzed sort of rock stars with mullet well there's the highest scoring world uh, um i guess you know you look at his first sorry look at her first but we're packing them at this track over 1100 meters she bolted in there came from all back and just ran it up with ease on one only four legs well, that sounds pretty good. Uh, there's no scraping in the, in the voice coil. It's um, clear. I can't play music on it because uh, YouTube will uh, do a copyright on it, and if, you, know, you, you only got to run it for five seconds or something, a bit of a song, and it'll grab it. So I've been stung a couple of times, so I'm not going to to uh, to do that again. Too much trouble to get rid of it. So. I'm just having a look at this gap here on this string, just winding this string back and forward, and there's no problem there. All right, and we've got our clearance, plenty of clearance in there for that. So that's come up pretty good, I reckon. Um, let's see what it looks like from the back. So there it is from the back. I reckon that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Our little roller speaker there, it's pretty much hidden anyway, but and our um, licensing. Um, little sticker on the top there looks good too so yeah that's it's come up well works all right too it sounds good all right i'll stick it back in the case we're about done on that very happy with the results well i've put all the uh, screws back in and uh, and it uh, looks looks good it just looks like a an old roller speaker well a new roller speaker I suppose. 
Um, and uh, of course, looks good on the front as well, of course. 500 dwellings a year, 500 new public housing dwellings a year across the entire state. But right now, there's 30,000 people on the waiting list. So the supply of public housing. Until I actually accessed the coroner's report, which was only about a year ago. So that sounds great. That, that speaker's working uh, as, as well as it ever did. So I think that's it for the Phoenix. Um, I'm going to uh, stick it on the shelf and. Uh, admire it. Um, it's a, created a fair bit of interest uh, with people that have seen it in the flesh, so it's been good. It's a good little radio. Well, if we can keep going, it'll, it's a good little radio. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you uh, got something out of that. I, I think the main thing to remember with speakers is if, you, if you're going to play around with them, keep it centred on that voice coil, and uh, you, you won't have any real trouble with it. Uh, I painted it with some uh, black gloss paint, painted the uh, cone, and that stiffens it up quite well, and it makes it look like new, so uh, um, it's not a bad little fix. If you do spray it, keep in mind that it will soften the, uh, the material, and you, will, you can get it to rub on the, um, on the voice coil, so if you're going to spray it, uh, at, at best, or at least keep it vertical, so lay it down flat so it's facing up if you spray it and don't sort of sit on its side because the cone will sag. Um, if you get really concerned you can take that foam bit out of the centre, that uh, sorry that felt bit out of the centre and uh, put some paper in there or whatever is needed to keep it centred while you spray it. Alright thanks very much and uh, we'll see you in the next video.